Hello, Gary Smith here. Key account plans are vital for driving profitable growth with existing customers and critical prospects. However, there's no account plan tab in Salesforce. But there is a great solution. In this video, I'll show you all the essential strategic account planning features you need using the GSP account planning app. It's 100% ready to use off the shelf. And of course, there are adjustments you can make to suit your specific business. Let's dive in. Here's an example of an account plan. It's for the calendar year 2021. And as we can see, it's for pyramid construction. Here's the main body of our account plan in which we describe our goals, the SWOT analysis, our stakeholder management plan, and the internal support we're going to need. And of course, our approach in the short term. Now, I'm going to come back to these metrics in a moment, but first, let me show you the objectives section. These are the specific objectives associated with the plan, and we can drill down to each one to see more detail, together with the outcome, and the post-completion comments by the objective owner and her manager. We also record details of other people, the contacts at Pyramid Construction that are playing a role on the account plan. And by the way, in some organisations, you also want to record other businesses that may be playing a role. For example, a critical IT partner or legal advisor. Now, I mentioned those metrics. Here you can see the opportunities that are linked to this account plan. They're linked because they are associated with pyramid construction and the close date of each opportunity is within the time frame of the account plan. And we roll up the value of those opportunities so that you can see the revenue performance of your account plan. It looks like we've got a small projected shortfall on this account. But of course, having that information means we can take steps to correct it. Oh, and by the way, you can, of course, add other fields to your account plan layout. And many of our customers use an approval process to track the status of the account plan through draft and onto approval. Now, a couple of other things before I show you the reports and dashboards. Let's look first at the Pyramid Construction account page layout. In the app, we give you the option to track the current segment and the target segment for each customer. If you're aiming to move Pyramid to a strategic customer, I definitely want to see an account plan that explains how we'll get there. This activity field helps us implement a robust call cadence. For example, let's say we want to make sure we call Pyramid Construction every two weeks. When I log an activity, the last call date and the next call due automatically populate. And that means I can use list views to drive my activity. One other thing about this page, this account hierarchy button shows that Pyramid Construction is part of a larger corporate group. And if we want to get into large brick construction, well, a good first step will be to identify more people with whom we can start to build a relationship. And now onto the reports and dashboard charts. There's a comprehensive dashboard that comes with the app. For example, this chart shows the performance of all of our current account plans. Drill down to get a more detailed view. And of course, you can adjust each of the reports and the charts to suit the structure of your business. So that's the GSP account planning app. You can search for it on the app exchange or even easier, click the link just below this video. And if you'd like to have a session with me on a web meeting, we can walk through the app, answer any other questions that you have. I'd love to do that. Again, there's a link just below this video. Bye for now.